Um, Keela, Keela Shackle Smith, you've got your hand up. Welcome. Hello, lovely to meet you. Um, I actually joined your very first launch back in 2019, and oh. you're the reason why I started uh, grief cafes in the civil service. We've now gone to 3,500 people. We host cafes every other month. Sorry, every month. Every other month we do after hours and we do grief topics on things like delayed grief, anticipatory grief, um, growing around grief. They've been very popular. So first of all, I wanted to say thank you because you're the reason uh, we started this to, to advertise Good Grief Trust. The other thing I was going to do a bit of a shout out, I'm looking for connections on grief topics such as being young and bereaved, loss of an older child, bereavement by suicide as well. So I would say, um, again, I'm going to be supporting National Grief Awareness Week in the civil service. I'm going to be promoting Good Grief Trust uh, and I'll be hosting a cafe. But I just want, really wanted to say thank you because honestly, you changed everything back in 2019. So thank you. Oh, wow, Keely, thank you so much for that amazing, uh, Keely, I see, I've, I've, um, what are your words, I've just, I mean, we just try and bring people together and we try and raise awareness of these initiatives and, and then hand them over. And that's the whole point, isn't it, really, so that we can then just share these ideas and thoughts. And, and that's what we would love to be able to promote during National Grief Awareness Week is, is connecting those services that have already worked so hard and spent so much time and resources creating wonderful bereavement care within their own organization. Let's just share that information and those, those, um, those incredible um, support services for the good of the bereaved. So yeah, thanks so much. That's really sweet of you and really kind of you to, to say such lovely things. And thank you for the work that you're doing. That sounds incredible. So yeah, please do share those details. Let us know where your cafes are. Um, so yeah, as a, as a roundup, do we have anyone else who would like to say anything? We've got some lovely comments in the chat here. Uh, the grief galleries in person and virtual exhibitions feature the belongings of loved ones lost. I'd love to partner with an organization for a virtual gathering for National Grief Awareness Week. And that's uh, Charlene, please do get in touch. Um, that sounds a really interesting um, event and initiative. And, and Christine uh, Jardine, as I say, is EMP for Edinburgh West. Um, and really, this piece of work is so important. So please do um, get in touch with us or otherwise Christine direct at Parliament via her email. And I'm sure she'd appreciate your support um, on Thursday. But we can obviously find out a little bit more about that and share that. Uh, we've got Belle, who says she already runs a group um, in the uh, practice where she is a practice manager in the GPs, which is fantastic. We're working with thousands of GPs across the country to try and raise awareness of the signposting available under our umbrella. You know, we have um, uh, huge um, access to um, individual tailored services, and we know that that's absolutely key to those people who are bereaved to find somebody who's been through a very similar loss, um, as Carol said, actually can be can be your lifeline when you're bereaved. So um, huge thanks to everybody really online for the work that you're doing. Um, it is incredible. Uh, everybody is just so passionate um, to try and help and raise awareness of the impact of, of grief and loss. And this week, in conjunction, as we said, with the Baby Loss Awareness Week and also Children's Grief Awareness Week, which is coming up, please do support those two campaigns as well. Um, even if you haven't had a personal experience, please do support them. There's the Wave of Light, which is Baby Loss Awareness Week, and obviously Children's Grief Awareness Week have their own theme again, so we'll look out for that. Um, and we're working very closely with all the leads for the Awareness Weeks, which is a brilliant, um, again, a new initiative through Gail Precious, which is the National Bereavement Alliance as well, and Alison Penny. So we're very grateful for all these contacts and working very closely together with our fellow colleagues across the sector. Um, so as a wind up, oh gosh, we've got some hands up. Sorry, Laura, um, please do uh, come Hello. on up, Laura. Hi, I did just put a quick message in the chat. Um, I'm Laura. I'm currently a cancer care nurse in the GP surgery. Um, I'm leaving this post and heading to um, be an inpatient um, nurse at hospice, a local hospice. But I'm hoping to set up um, a death cafe, not set on the name, um, in Colchester on the high street. We are working towards being a compassionate um, city 
um, with Compassionate City Charter and I'm currently working with Compassionate Communities um, through the hospice. So yeah, I've put my email in the chat and I would just love anyone's experience. I have personal um, lived experience of loss um, during COVID, but yeah, super excited to be here on this chat planning for yeah, that um, support group, which could be sort of book led because it's going to be hosted in a bookshop. But yeah, thank you. Oh, wow. That sounds absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much, Laura.